Hi, I'm Bill Kinney, and this is video number 26 in my series on the foundations of arithmetic, algebra, and graphing, with a focus on real-life interpretation and application. In recent videos, and in this video, we have not focused so much on applications because we're trying to get used to dealing with decimals, real numbers, and percentages that will continue in this video. Um, what I would like to do to start off with this part five of this sub-series is just overview what we've learned. Um, some particular fraction to decimal conversions that you that I think is worthwhile to try to get into your head uh, to try to remember. Some real fundamental fractions and how to write them as decimals. Of course there's one half. You can write it as 0.5 or 0 0.50 if you prefer. You could think of that as five tenths or you could think of it as fifty hundredths or 500 thousandths, you could write it like that too. As a percentage, what you do is you, well, if you look at this one, you move the decimal to the right two places, and you put a percent sign, so this is the same as 50%. The phrase 50% is synonymous with half. One third is not equal to 0.3. It's not equal to 0.33. It's not equal to 0.333. It's not equal to point any finite number of threes. Those are all just approximations to one third. In reality, this decimal representation goes on forever and ever. A bunch of threes forever and ever without stopping. It's a repeated pattern, point three repeating. And the bar means that the three repeats. As a percentage, if you're gonna write it exactly, you'd have to write it as an infinite decimal repeating pattern there as well with the decimal move two spots to the right from here to there, 33.33, with the threes going on forever, repeating, percent. Of course, we usually approximate it, and, ca and calculators internally approximate these things. You could say that's approximately 33.33%, and you could stop wherever you want, depending on your needs. One-fourth is half of a half. Thinking in terms of money, there's a real-life interpretation, I guess. Half of 50 cents is 25 cents. 0.25 is the decimal representation of that. 25 hundredths, you could also call it 250 thousandths, etc. As a percentage, it's 25%. One-fifth is 0.2, 20%. One-sixth, we haven't done one-sixth yet. I'd encourage you to take, pause the video and try to figure it out with long division. And then when you come back, we'll do it with the calculator. All right, for those of you who are back, hopefully all of you, um, let's get it in the calculator, one-sixth. Calculator spits back, back point one, six, 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 seven. I think I said the right number of sixes there. That's an approximation. Notice the last seven, it's, it's not a six. The calculator rounded up in that last spot. In reality, this hints at the fact that the true decimal representation is 0.1666666, etc. forever and ever. The sixes go on forever. The one doesn't repeat. If you were gonna write this with the bar notation, you'd put a 0.1 and then a six and just put the bar over the six indicating that only the six repeats. Um, that would be 16.6 with a bar percentage, percent. And then if you round it, you could say that's approximately 16.7%. And I think that's worth remembering. That one sixth is approximately 16.7%. We did one seventh in the last video. Hopefully you remember it was about 14.3%. Try it on your own, check it with your calculator. As a repeating decimal, it was 0.142857, and that part repeated forever and ever. 0.142857, bar over the whole thing. 1 eighth, half of a fourth. You could think of that as half of 250 thousandths, which would be 125 thousandths, 
and indeed that does work. 12.5 percent. Exactly this one, one seventh, was about 14.3 percent. Use an approximately equal to symbol. One ninth is actually pretty easy to remember, and it's, it's a third of a third. So going back up here, in, in essence, you can take all the three, those threes and divide them by three. You get a bunch of ones going on forever. One ninth is 0.1 repeating. About 11.1%. Well, then one tenth, of course, is 0.1 exactly, exactly 10%. How about others? I think it's worth writing down some others. We obviously can't continue like this forever. Try 1 11th on your calculator. I'll go ahead and do it here. 0 0.09090909, 0 .09 0 .09 0 .09, etc. That's a repeating pattern that goes on forever. Approximately 9.1% if you write it as a percent. 1 twelfth. zero eight three with the threes going on evidently forever and that indeed is true the bar just over the three about eight point three percent a few more here I'm going to skip one thirteenth I'm going to look at one fourteenth if you want to do one thirteenth, you can. One fourteenth. Point zero seven one four two eight five seven one four. Looks like there's a repeating pattern there, but what is it? That's the repeating part. Seven one four two eight five. Seven one four two eight five. Evidently, and you can double check that with long division, with the bar notation. Write it like this. Approximately 7.1%. is 1 14th. An interesting thing happens there. You see, if you compare those digits with the digits for 1 7th, you see that there, it's the same set of digits, just in different spots. Kind of interesting. You might want to think about why that happens. 1 15th, I think, is worth remembering. 0 0.06 with the 6 is repeating. 0.06. About 6.7%. We've done 1 16th before. You remember it? Take a second, think about it. Maybe try to do it without writing down any calculations or without using your calculator. That was half of 1 8th. 1 8th was 0.125 or 1250 ten thousandths. So this has got to be 625 ten thousandths. 0 0.0625. 6.25%. 6 Couple more. Uh, 1 20th is a tenth of a half. Think about that. It's got to be 0 0.05. 5 percent. One tenth of a half. Take 0.5 and multiply it by one tenth. You're going to move the decimal to the one spot to the left and get 0.05. 1 25th. Well, how many times does 25 go into 100? It goes four times. This is 4 percent. 0 0.04, 4 percent. So those are some ones that I think are worth either remembering or doing your best to remember. Um, some common fractions with a numerator of 1. And um, 
Notice that they all either truncate, stop somewhere, or they have some repeating pattern. And even the ones that stop, like 0 0.0625, can be thought of as having a repeated pattern, because you could think of it as 0 0.0625 zero repeating. 0 0.0625 with a zero and then a bar over the zero if you want. I mean, nobody really ever writes that, but it could be thought of that way. It's kind of interesting that that seems to always be happening with these rational numbers. We'll talk about that more in later videos.